I don't know. We're gonna do this. I hope the quality is okay. I had to redo all the settings, like I mentioned previously. Uh, we're just gonna play this. This was gonna be a Rob game, but apparently it's not going to be a Rob game. We will see. Oh my goodness, Pupkin's here. This is the Rob prequel, but I'm probably not going to play it again for Rob. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll play the second game of this. We're going to do this and uh, maybe stream it regularly. I'm playing on normal. I'm just going to make like a gen one of my generic D&D &D characters that are regular people. Like Carl Franklin or something. Frank Jacklin. Craig Bushman. Didn't he die, though? I know he's blind. That's good. You can listen, talk. I mean, talk. You can listen. I thought you were going to play scary games with the other one. So I wasn't sure if you would be here. Yeah, but he was blind, though. Craig Bushman the blind. Five wagons oh. grope blindly for the path on a starless night. Their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them, where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead, you will go no further tonight. We're not going any further tonight, that's for sure. Anyway, time to make a man, person, human. Oh! Okay. I could read these things. I mean, there are words here. I could read them. Should I read them? Well, let me know if I should read them. A druid, huh? I'm gonna be a human, but I'm gonna look at these ugly folk. I have been an elf before. That guy's just a tree that's on fire. Humans are commonly called folk. Don't know why. Are right, we at the meadow, ocean, or savanna? Oh. Probably just this one. They've lived in the area. Yeah. They've lived in the area for 2,000 years. Once per encounter, five seconds after being reduced below 50 endurance. Folk temporarily gain bonuses to accuracy and damage. That sounds pretty good. Let's per. Oh, that's just the generic human trait, huh? Okay. Next. Um. You played as this thing? I'm usually a fighter. But they don't have one that's just Joe Schmo, random human, barbarian, paladin, I don't care about magic.
Magic is for babies. I also don't care about ranged weapons. Ranged weapons are for babies. Alright, we'll be a fighter again. Knockdown's good. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Alright. Um, who needs intellect? Not me. We're going to be extremely... Uh, I don't know. Extremely... Something. Pump everything up except intellect. There, that works. 14, 14, 14, 13, 8, 14. This guy's an idiot. Culture. Deadfire Archipelago, that's what the second game's about. Resolve. Old Valia. Intellect, not doing that. Oh, this is changing my weapon set. Two spears, now that's what I'm talking about. Southern Expanse of Polar Ice. Should I be a cold man? Mountainous region. Large northern island renowned for its diversity of plant life. Heck yes what? Two spears? Virtually no plants. It is home to a hardy species of animals that forage the sea and prey upon others. I'll be the two spear two spear man. Shelby's phone hates me. No problem, I said. Alright, we'll be the spear boy. Aristocrat, probably not. Drifter, maybe. Never fit in where you go. That sounds about right. Explorer, you find the siren call of the horizon. Hunter, you hunt. Laborer, your life has been laborful. Merchant, you sell things once in a while. Um, athletics, mechanics. Laborer sounds good. Why not? Alright, now I have to pick customization black that's all we need black man the beards look terrible big mustache that sounds good I'm not, no, I'm not doing that. What is this guy's name? Have we named him yet? Ah, uh, none of these hairs are remotely good. Bald. Bald. With a random mustache. Now we have to pick a portrait. Bald with mustache. Do they have one of those? They have pirate. <laughs> Alright, I have to make that guy. I have to make that guy. <laughs> okay. That's too dark. The hair is so shiny. It's like metal.
Do they have... What even is this? It's like an, a reverse mohawk. He's balding in the middle of his head. Do they have that? Do they have that style? <laughs> oh. Close enough. Hey there. Now I am the leader of the group. Quietly now. Yeah. I've got this. I'll go on ahead. Hmm? I shall lead us. How about nothing? That sounds good. Uh... <laughs> He's too old to have a voice. Um... Clarence... Uh, Cl Clarence. Uh, Clarence Appleton. Yeah. Here I am. Oh, I thought I was going to read it. Caravan Master Odima, the caravan master finishes addressing the group, his bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods towards the looming black mass on the hillside. The is crawling with hut-dwelling types who would be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks over to you. Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. In which case, you'll be dead in a day. I've got the sick flu. I'm going to be dead in a day if I don't drink water. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to get a berry. It's it much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Yeah. I'm sick. Where would I find these berries? I'm very old. They grow on a bush that's common around here. Kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. Is it dangerous? Not if you hurry about your business. I'm not going to hurry at all. And not if the weather holds up. Um, what kind of weather do they get, you know? This time of year? Rain, mostly, and wind. <laughs> but there's a different kind of wind out here, time to time. Locals call it a beowick. Born out of the ether. The spirits pass. Beowick. Never seen it myself. Never care to. I wonder if we'll see one of those in two minutes. What are these huge rocks? Are they rocks? They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. I've never believed a story in my it's life. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. All right. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. <laughs> Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. What are these ruins? Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be What's made that? selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay, if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Okay. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn. Who so built got them, different though? different names for them. Settlers called them Inguithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. All right. Hold on. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. 
Not like most of this. I'm very frail. Drop dead. I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. Yeah. Kalisha. 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 Find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. Okay, thanks. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. I'm gonna kill over at any moment. I'm very old. Um, tab, tab to look at things. Stay quiet. These tall green pillars are uh something. Headen. Oops, I accidentally turn on stealth mode. I don't know how to. Alt. Okay. I just picked up a- I have a ring. Gon's Pledge. Grants Gon's Pledge to Perest. Shield the wearer from a myriad of perils that plague the world. Well, that's interesting. also have this pig, which I don't care about. Yeah, that's the pillars. This guy is just... <laughs> I don't know. Anyone need supplies? <laughs> I've got sundries for sale. Hold on. Fast mode? No. No. It's locked. I don't have brain. To, <laughs> to unlock it. Alright. Is that armor any good? I can't tell. No. I thought it was supposed to... Oh, we have a lockpick now. Can we do this? Oh, wait, did... Yes, pick it. Hey, it worked. Purple potion. Beautiful. Hey, hey, uh, then. You see a man wearing clothes. Wow. Well, nice clothes. A wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. Oh. Say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale. Let's we'll see like what you got. Wow. I, I don't need these tutorials. Where did I get all this money? Can I buy anything? Um. <laughs> I have lived a long life. I, I've collected a hundred coins. Um, I feel like he should wear light armor. I don't think he could lift up heavy armor. But all this armor kind of sucks. I'll buy these lockpicks, I guess. Nope, can't afford them. We'll spend our life savings on two lockpicks. Perfect. It's my retirement pension. <laughs> Got it from the factory. Isn't there a mini-map? I thought there was a mini-map. Just a regular map? I'm thinking of Tyranny, I think. Horse, 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 horse. There's horses here. Look! Mushrooms! I got them. They're mine. What's this way? The fallen tree doesn't budge. Not looking forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. Yeah, don't worry about it. You'll probably lift it tomorrow. If I had to guess. Sparful. What's up, bud? I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Alright, Endeavor. Stream's not going anywhere. Sparful. It's a deer! Eat it. Hey, dead folk. Corpse is cold to the touch, and the ripe smell wafts from the putrids. 
Dark crusted blood stain. He's got a shirt. Not as good as what my shirt is. There's just corpses over here, huh? It's corpse town on that part of the map. I don't know where these berries are. I'm going to check this side of the river, I guess. <laughs> I think they're over here, if I remember correctly. Is that them? Burned lady. I don't think that's them. Let's check by those outcroppings. Oh, uh, there's wolves! Murder them. Destroy. That's a burn lady. We killed a wolf. Now we're the real heroes. Here it is. This is it. This is it. Odima says you're a working man. Of a sort. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> of a sort. I was a cook. Yeah? How was it that you happened here? Um. Uh, I were, uh. I spat in a noble's food and he responded by ruining my life. <laughs> Got a lot on your mind then. Hopefully things work out in the end. They don't usually though. Been a long time since I've been this way. I always did like it. Lord Radrick's offer. Uh, yeah. I'm just passing through. I don't care about the. F <laughs> I don't care about the land. I'm very old. That's usually the case with the big city. Just always further up the where you headed. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do next. <laughs> Completely spontaneous, huh? Interesting. Well, maybe there's no hurry to make up your mind. Well, I'm very old. They got an inn and gilded veil to put, put up as long as you need, or my sister tells me. Anyway, I'm wasting my time. Old Demi will give me an earful. Let's be on our way. All right. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Sparfle's getting you that water. He does what he feels like, when he feels like. We should check up on his first. Slap him. Stream's just down the way. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And he freaking, like, gave him three diseases. That was good. Ademoth's worth. This path that winds a narrow grace canyon grooves in the Shouldn't road. Shouldn't stray too far. Shouldn't stray too far. This is where Sparfle went. Wait, he's gone. Sparfle died. Sparfle, are you here? Yo. Yeah, it turned out pretty what a good. Surprise! Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Come on. Whoa! I got the riverbank. I've dipped the water skin in the water. You've gamed item full water skin. Thanks. Out of the trees emerges Sparful. He no longer carries his bow, and there is a strangeness to his gait. His stride is wobbly. Sparful, are you all right? Toe rock collapses. He's got arrows in his back. In the trees. Ambush. How'd they get behind us? That's where camp is. I'm gonna kill this one. You can you can kill this one. How about that? Hmm? Oh. She didn't kill that one. We got it. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm too old to be doing this kind of stuff. I'm like 1300. Is this shirt any good? No. Is she wearing a shirt that's not terrible? She's wearing the same one that I have. What's this? Footprints! Wonder where they came from. What's this? Beer! Wonder where they came from. Wait, there's something else. Mushroom? Dry cap. What kind of old man uses two spears? Of all the old people weapons. Alright, let's go to camp. Probably going to see everyone alive and well. Oh, I can already tell they're not. Oh, it's more people. What you need? Murder them! Please! Oh, they killed me. My fragile bones can't take this. Is she gonna help me or she's just standing there? I thought there was party AI. What happened to that? I don't I don't know. Oh lots of things. Derek needs to be here to tell me how to play this. Guys, tell me, please, why you do this. All around you is the massacred remains of your travelers, peppered with arrows. Kalisha puts the back of her hand to her mouth as if to ward away a poisonous vapor. A handful of dark figures stands above the fallen. Yeah. Treading on limbs and backs of heads. One of them, towering a severe thick beard tasseled with knots, holds a web blade to the neck of the man you recognize as he had in the last of your caravan. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life or for a fight you will lose. You will try to kill us either way. Why make it easy? Wait, um... I don't know what they did, but I didn't have anything to do with it. Ignorance bears no absolution. I have seen your group's purpose. You are trespassers and plunderers all. And we will see this outrage avenged. So I again, so I say again, lay down your arms. Don't trust them. Um. Um. Uh. Uh, stay armed. If I put down my weapons, we're all dead. You are all dead anyway. The gods demand their pre pen the penance. He killed Heedon. As expected. Now he will die. For Heedon murder. He has died from Heedon murder. Yeah. I wish there was a game like this where Rob was the main antagonist. That would be something. They died! They're dead! It's over! Your enemy lays on the ground. He looks up to you. Not, he looks not to you, but the sky. Forgive us! Good! <laughs> The gods are just. I am ready. Oh, here comes a Beowick. Seated at the wagon, Hallam Maestrom slats Odima's body stirs. Is it bear? He looks directly at you. Get inside! Run! Wait, I wanted to loot Hiaden. You're f you're robbing me of my money. I don't care about ghost wind. You're the real demon. Straying against the gale that threatens to pull you off your feet. With every step, you set your hands on the worn folds of weathered rock and pull yourself in up the precipice. 
With the last burst of energy before your arms give out, you swing yourself onto the ledge. There's no way an old person could do this. Deep resonance to the wind. You feel the rocks beneath your feet and, uh, inside the cavity of your own chest, even though to shake the marrow of your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening the connections, unsettling balances. As you dart beneath the, the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its feet. Wait. Feet. I can't read. This is a reading game. We're here. That was... We should be dead. I could kill you if you want me to. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way, anyway. Let's get further inside. Why, though? Alright, how do I look at my quests? J? Yes. I have narrowly escaped the strange and deadly wind that tore up the valley. It was Hurricane Ivan. Gilded Vale. I'm supposed to be going there. Escape the ruins. I have to find my way back out. Kalisha have to ki Heden didn't make it. Have to continue on our own. Yeah, I think uh, Heden is supposed to live, but I, I didn't do that. So that's cool. Addendum added. How did I escape Hurricane Ivan? Uh, I evacuated. We have to be careful in here. Place has been open to the wilds for a couple thousand years. Shut up. Might be a lot of vermin taking shelter here. Four-legged if we're lucky. Two if not. What happened out there? Windstorm of a kind. Wait, uh, windstorm of a kind they can only get in Ear Glanfath. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Glanfath and word Beowick. To them, it's the gods' way of reaping the souls of the land that should find their own way out. But their living souls, dead ones, still got yours? We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Alright. What about everyone else in the caravan? Actually, I don't care. Let's get going. Caravan Schmaravan. That's what I always say. We're gonna go south first. Oh my gosh, that thing. A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show though, through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a Zarup? It watches you carefully. Cautiously. Uh, I'll tear you to pieces, lizard. It hisses at me. It lunges. It's gonna attack now. Die, lizard. You deserve this for being here when we were here second perfect I did I threatened the lizard I needed the stuff in this barrel a bow and two lockpicks it's not hot prune Wait, hot prunes not a lizard hear that? I don't hear nothing we got stuff oh crap we're almost full of garbage already tattered journal Oh, so many words to read. Not really. Torn into several places. One entry is legible. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I got my hands on a genuine ing Ingwithan artifact. Uh, I'll head to Kalala in the morning. <laughs> okay. Some artifact, huh? Um, I did pick up like a gem. This thing. In Gwithin Relief Gem. Okay. Sure. Okay. Oh crap, it's a giant thing. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but we're gonna murder it. That's a straight up demon. Skulder. Axe. I think that's the way out. That looks weak. Could be a shortcut. Yeah, but we're gonna go back here first. Those tiles look suspicious. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. We will. But first, we're gonna go in here. What do we got? Symbols. 
Just like the tiles. Just like the tiles. Use the torch to light the brazier. Did the door open? I don't know. I'm just lighting fires. Yeah, brazier. Mural is ancient, yet the colors are very vivid. They walk among the pillars. Are these the pillars? Is that the game? Did we do it? We must have done it. Here's a dead man. In credits. Ah, oh, crap. Black ooze. <laughs> this black gelatin's coming after me. Kaliska is gonna die. <laughs> yeah. This freaking Department of Transportation was doing road construction in here, and the freaking blacktop started attacking them. Why did they put it in here? That's a two handed poleaxe. I don't want that in there, because I'm gonna sell it later. If I can. I got all this crap already. Double spear, double the action. Oh look, man, they're they're getting worse and worse at redoing these roads. Where'd that slime come from? I don't know. Viscous, viscous and oily. It clings to almost anything it touches. Oh, look at that. A viscous slick of something dark and tar-like runs down the wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Dump the water on it. You rinse it and reveal a face. The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in places, but the detail in the one eye socket is a gem. Place the gem in the eye socket. The chamber finally, yes, we did it. We've ruined the world by opening more black ooze. Kill that crap! Yeah, nobody's awake. I slept in very late, and I woke up at like 10.30 p.m. I mean, a.m. Aw, oh, cool, a cloak! Where'd they put it? Open it. Give it. I'm gonna wear that. I think I can wear it. I'm a very old man named Clarence Appleton. And I have very bad social security. I don't know what that means. Let's go this way, because that's the way we haven't gone yet. Yes. I used all my pension money to buy two lockpicks at the beginning, before Heden died. Also, you Someone missed my character's backstory. He grew up using two spears. <laughs> I need to turn that off. Okay. I don't want it going straight into my... stash. Alright, we'll go this way. I've got a strange illness still? I thought I ate those berries. Who cares? Yeah, that's his chopping sticks. Break it. Use a hammer and chisel to weaken the wall. Continue chiseling the wall. We've done it. I just sat there and chiseled at that wall for like three hours. Oh crap. Can these things be invisible? We've killed them. They're dead. Hey look, more pillars. We beat the game again.
Here we go. Fresh air in here. I think we found an exit. Sounds like the storm passed too. Shut up. Spiders. And this is the way to the other thing, right? Yes. All right, we're leaving. Forget it. That place was bad. Oh, we're still here. Never mind. Large spider. If anyone's dying, it's going to be Callisto. Clarence must live. He's probably got two or three years left. He's got to live. That thing exploded. Bats as large as chickens are in the webs. Okay. Thank you for that. Oh, there's more crap. A, a dude with a hat. Give me that hat. And now I have a hat. Okay. That's the way out. There's something this way, I think. A rapier. Hat acquired. Here we go! We've made it. Now we have to watch the cutscene from 12,000 years ago or whatever. Older robed man. Four figures stand between, before an otherworldly apparatus. An ancient structure of chiseled Adra. What? <laughs> Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon what in contemplation, your vantage point well observed. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them, thick gray beards, frames, face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. Its faded robes embroidered with the runic language unlike anything you've ever seen. Black headdress, two protrusions, malevolent creature. Both binder bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. That's a heavy book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. I think that's Dr. Phil. I think that's Dr. Phil wearing that two protrusion mask. Ah, big cannon. Big gun cannon. That purple beam is going to land in the middle of France somewhere. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet in the air is still. Then all of a sudden, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision, but you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back. Pain wells the back of your skull. Black, unconscious void. Open your eyes to a different place. Another time, you stand in a circular room, grand and domed. Its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. And at, at the far end of the great pillar of adra pierces the floor from below, shimmering texture, giving the illusion of boundless depth. As far as the end of the pillar pierces the floor from below, the shimmering texture gives the illusion of boundless depth. Did I just read that? I'm going insane. <laughs> Your thoughts are yours, but not yours. And <laughs> they seem to exist... <laughs> Before you think them, and they are all questions, pressing questions, dropping questions, 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 questions. I don't want to read anymore. Stop it. Look at that guy. You know this man.
It's, I told you, it's Dr. Phil. Peach. You have something you want to ask him. One question above all. Who are you? Ah, crap. Dead. We're dead. Crap. My malaise is broken. Crap. Faint whispers audible as you're hearing. Moment fits the periphery. Then you look and your gaze is regularly darting. Figures of the machine stand frozen in place. You breathe. Wait. You have to kill Dr. Phil? I was going to do that anyway. Kaliska is dead. Kalisha is also dead. You are loaded far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best treatment. Yay! Gilded whoever. Do I level up? How do I how do I level up? Here we go. There he is. Um we'll put that lore up. Oh wait, we've got lots of points. Just spread them around. Oh cool, I get a I get a thing. Enigma's charm. Offensive. Weapon focus adventurer. Six accuracy with those weapons. I want the uh, I want the one that has yeah. Peasant, that sounds good. Peasant focus, do it. Extremely peasant focused. Do I just lose everything that she had? Why can't I loot her? There. Wait. Oh. Okay. Atta boy, Clarence, yeah! Clarence! Torture chamber, Clarence! Look at Clarence. I got vessel flesh. Ah, oh, sweet. Can I get more? Yes. Collect the vessel flesh before you do anything. Tort chamber. Massive structures formed of, st formed of stone and yep. It's a giant cannon. We got it. Dr. Phil shot people into dust. Springberry. Small and pink. Alright, we gotta go to Gilded Vale. Are we in... Okay. Should we go to Valewood first? I think we have to. Here we go. We're walking. Crap, it's raining. I'm gonna melt. Is this another springberry? No. My old man can't handle this walking stuff. He's too old. What's down here? The loveliest town. Certainly not one that has a tree full of dead people in it. I've never... I don't know what you're talking about. Blood moss. Is that all there was here? Perfect. Here he goes. <laughs> Shut up. I just saw a ghost. This place is haunted. I think there's a cave up here that I can't go in yet. Unless I want to die. Is that right? Ah, oh, crap! No! 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 Stop killing me, I beg you! Oh no. This isn't good. I'm flanked, guys. They're flanking me. I need higher endurance. Yeah, the Falmer are here. The true Nords of Skyrim. 
also the Thalmor are as well. Uh, well, camping. Make my, uh. Never mind. Hey, another hat! And another stick. Can I use that? Quarter staff. Oh, it's two handed. Forget that. The struts and supports are large enough to be rib cages of a dragon. Yeah, sure, whatever. Dragon. Skyrim is not. And will never be. I'm not going in that cave. I think it's got bears. I think that's the bear cave. What does this say? Not a wolf! Kill it! Destroy! Make the wolf hurt! <laughs> Something about a crate. Yours truly, Norm. Settler's Arrow? That's a stupid name for a mushroom. Grass is still flattened behind the wagon's wheels. Barrels of cabbages and potatoes have been overturned. The dog stab. Ah, oh, cool. Fleet feet potion. What? Is happening? Anything else good over here? An outlaw? You've outlawed the wrong place, my friend. You have succumbed to Clarence. Oh my gosh. Open helm? There's so much crap all over the place. Ah, oh, crap. Even more. Young dwarf tending the stew looks up startled and sees you approach. What? Get him, you dogs, and make sure our new cook don't run off. Help, please help, Magarg. Sounds good. We'll help, please help, Magarg. That sounds fine. Please stop being alive, I beg you. Human dogs. Riarga. Die! I'm not killing them! Extremely murder. Hurry! The murder's not working, guys. <laughs> Is that guy shooting his friend in the back? Would you hit him? We're doing one damage. Every time. That was 12. I ran out of knockdown. Kill the freaking archer! Am I gonna collapse? I've got major fatigue. Just kind of just Clarence's default state, I would imagine. Aw, <laughs> oh, yeah. People garbage. This tent is empty. Sounds good. Vegetables. Good day, stranger. That's what you sound like? Thank you, thank you. I'm stuck cooking the rest of my life, but then you saved me. I must get back home. Come to the inn in Gilded Vale. I'll let Pasca know that what you've done. To be back in my oven again. <laughs> Did we get anything that's better than what we have? It's so hard to tell because we have a million things now. 
Zarab spear, are they better than no, everything's the same. I want double spears, double the action. We got a hood. Should we put the hood on? Probably. Another cape. Any armor that's not terrible? No. Man, we have very little inventory. You have a lot more inventory in Tyranny. The inventory game. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. No. Anything but this. I might die, actually. Stop! I want you to not do this. Push that dog over. Please! The hood will clearance it up. All the wolves. Can I climb this? Oh, examine the wall more closely. Oh, examine the wall. Le scale the wall. You are forced to drop back down. Scale the wall! I'm too weak. Clarence has no upper body strength because his frail arms. <laughs> it's true. Northwest to south to Gildan Vale. That's where we're going. I gotta stay at the... Yeah. Yeah, the stash is infinite, but it's not as convenient as being able to see everything here. You get like two more rows in Tyranny per person. I think. Maybe just one. I gotta go to the inn and immediately sleep. Ah, no, we gotta do a cutscene. No. No. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Shut up! I feel at home already. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever sired a hollowborn child? No. Are you absolutely certain? No. Lord Radric has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. Yeah. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. <laughs> Can't estimate this, dude. His lordship's wife is with child and do any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. I'm not staying here. It will have to wait until after the burn. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. That's where I'm going. Um, um, strange ceremony near the ruins, guys. You'll want to mind where you mentioned that. Trespassing is bad. Um, you probably saw someone attempting to some new ritual to appease the gods. People will try anything these days. Uh, maybe so. Like I said, don't look at it. Don't hesitate to ask. Uh, Hollowborn Waden's legacy. They do not have this curse in your homelands. Hollowborn have been a scourge to the dry winds with almost 15 years now. Children born without souls. Pitiful dumb things that breathe barely but do not truly live. It's a disease. In truth, no one knows. Uh, legacy. I see. 
I had a close call with the Beowick. Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an Animancer. However, the only Animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Ha 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 ha. Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. You're a cure. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Man, I'm gonna estimate Keep you when you're done. I'm gonna estimate that dude. Listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Three tolls. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. I don't care. Does this affect the Lord's offer for new people to live in pe ha houses? I can be sure of nothing. Get some rest at the inn. Or stable. For all I care. Find me afterwards. I will know more soon. Alright. That sounds good. Um, also... Not good. Lord Radric's kid got murdered by being born wrong. The bells. Daniel? What? Alright, I'm going to the inn. And then I'm going to take a brief intermission. Uh... <laughs> Weren't we all? Oh look, it's Aloth. The first figure raises his hands, his face partially obscured by a hood. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. I'm not saying anything. Matt Mercer can handle himself. You've got a lot of gall mocking us in our own village. We'll take ill treatment from foreigners, especially not Matt Go Mercer. On. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fy, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cock's feather! I'll cut that barrel-looking tongue out of your head! This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. That's where you're wrong. Um. Um. I'm staying out of it. No, you don't, foreigner. That's not nice. I will kill everyone, regardless of your country of origin. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. You're welcome. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. Oh. His boots are caked with mud. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvisser, at your service. How'd you manage to get stuck here? That is a long story. I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire, and both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I'm grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? None of your business! In Gwythen Ruins? Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. In half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find? It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened. 
That man must have his secrets very well. I should get going. How should I, given recent events? It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. <laughs> they say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Fine. Excellent. I shall follow you. Now we have a loss. The man of the... The Mercer. What's the... What's the window say? Windows are clouded with haze. What's this say? Black Hound Inn. Here we go. We're gonna take a nap here. A dirt nap. Hey, Pasca. Good day, stranger. Oh, it's you. Ten for Frith told us what you did for him. Consider yourself a house. Discount rooms, discount drinks. Uh, let me see what you have for sale. Whoa! I'm gonna sell all my crap. I don't know, man. Probably. I don't want any of this crap. It's all crap. Actually, I want those hats. I'll keep the hats. Alright, fine. I don't know how to do that, though. Second life savings. Alright, sure. Uh, milk? Fermented milk? Would that work? Uh, fine. I'll just buy 14 beers. Tw uh, 12 beers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll take some healing potions as well. And she's gonna give me 300 gold. Wonderful. Retrain character? Store? Recruit adventurers? Party management? Rooms? I'm going to get a room, but I'm going to do the level up first. Um, the lore should go up. Let's get lore as high as we can. Points to advance. Yeah. Next. Confident aim, discipline barrage. Passive, that's what I want. Right? Gazes. I guess. I don't know. We're level three. I don't know how to drink these. This is going to take forever. <laughs> Look at these status effects. Hurry. Go, 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 go! This man is 80% alcohol. Can I see a list of my effects? <laughs> there definitely was something wrong with me earlier. Um... I don't own a stronghold yet. How do I look at my effects? It's just a giant list. Oh my lord. <laughs> Major fatigue. Beer, 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 beer. <laughs> Can we get a room? Greetings. Give me a room. I want the most expensive room you have.
Your sleep is restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to find yourself in front of Gilled Will, Gilled Vale, Vallowed Gill, hanging from the trees, an old dwarf woman. Her head limply to one side, you look at her, she looms in face. Suddenly, her head snaps up. <laughs> yeah, watch her. You jolt awake. Foul smell of dwarf woman. <laughs> you remember this woman. You remember seeing her decaying face. I've gained experience. Alright, I have to go talk to the dwarf woman. But first, I'm gonna be right back. I have to use the restroom and get a snack and I'll be one moment. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna make a... I'm gonna make a screen that says we'll be back. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just switch to the desktop. Alright, I'm back. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to edit this now because I freaking showed my entire work email. Probably shouldn't post that. I don't know. Oh my lord, freaking Microsoft Edge is trying to open. Hold on. What a turn of events. Alright, now. I have to go talk to the lady hanging from the woods. I think. More like Microsoft dumb. <laughs> Here we go. Um, it's on attack mode. I don't know how to get it off attack mode. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Let's go talk to Tin Firth. Oh crap! Stealing. No. Ah, my savior. It's good to have you back. Oh, I got a savory pie. No, I just learned a recipe. Thanks. You idiot. Spoons hang by the fire, coated in gunk. Orlin Server. I don't think that's his name. Man, somebody is screaming down here. Book? Oh my gosh. Selnia Vertivo. Give me that soul. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of words. Yeah. I agree. We're getting out of here. <laughs> he is. <laughs> yep. That's what he's doing. Alright, I gotta go to the middle of town. It's Edder. Were you I don't think so. For someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. I don't need any help. Idiot. Ugh. Freaking loser. Everybody's Matt Mercer in this game. The squat disintended dis dis the body bloated. Reach out for the woman.
involuntarily you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled down some deeper consciousness and space only occupied you and the hanging woman and when you could look at the staring milky fog slow nod of her head rope creaking forward as she does so have you come here for me dear or have you gotten lost ah it is both i think yes <laughs> that's true how are you able to speak to me ha 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 is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. I need to understand something. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and a watcher you will stay. What's a watcher? What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, though. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair. And here we are, visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on. Some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on, and those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their owner can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder! What do you mean? Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. Right. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kanua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Yeah, okay, I can do that. What about this Beowalk business? Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul, but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Cold them. Those days are all behind me, no? Alright, listen, here. I'm leaving. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Clarence Appleton was granted Crucible of the Soul. <laughs> what? Shaylin? What? This happens a lot. You'll get used to it. I'm a watcher. Well, that's interesting. Alright, see ya. Let's continue on. All right, now I have to go to Cade Nua. Um, seventeen and a half. 
What the heck did you just say to me? Seventeen and a half. Well, it could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. What? The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I think you oughta. What? The people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Name's Adair. Though to the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22, 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. What makes you think dwarf woman? Well, I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack I took you for a radrick at first. What do you mean? I oh, what's it to you? It's none of your business, buddy. Alright. Who needs him? He's a loser. We already have Matt Mercer in the group. Do we really need two Matt Mercers? Perhaps. I don't need nobody. I'm Clarence. I could steal some grain. Or some barrel. I just walked into this woman's house. Oh, sorry, I was expecting someone else. Can I help you? Nice cat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Keeps the house clear of mouses. Who are you expecting? My sister, Kalisha. Ha ha ha! Um, she was going to be in her... If you don't suppose you've seen her on the road. Uh, I'm afraid the rest of the caravan was killed. Oops. Um, if I hadn't written to her, maybe she'd be alive. Please don't cry. Um, quit your sniveling. How are you going to raise this child if you're weak? Is there anything I can do? I was worried about the baby, about the legacy. I told Kaliska, soulless, empty, habit to many mothers, and Lord Ladrick, La Radrick, Drick, exiled all of them. With my half thorp gone, shut up. They say Ranga, an old midwife, knows how to prevent child from being killed. Compass. Kaliska. I'll find her. Hey, she paid in advance. Yeah, it's in the south. We get it. Easy peasy. All right, we'll go get freaking editor. Who cares? Actually, this guy can wear a hat. No, nope, he's got a hat. <laughs> I'm going to be the oldest person in the group. What's up? You know what a watcher is? Careful, friend. Let's not use that word round here. Could be any number of Radrick bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around here, Radrick especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. You're gonna get hanged? The town's had it in for me for a long time now. 
Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. The war? Oh, Saints War. Only one in my lifetime. Fella says... Ethel, Ethel, Ethas. Oh my gosh. I have other questions. <laughs> Why was he hanged? Get involved. Wait. <laughs> Got involved. I thought he was telling me to... <laughs> Radrick sent men down here the other day. He said he got good authority. Someone in town was working for Kulsk. Plotting Radrick's overthrow. He said if he didn't come forward right then and there, he'd hang him. <laughs> Get involved, loser. <laughs> no one was coming forward, so Smithen, that's my head man, steps up and says him. They took him at his word. Who in the crap is Kulsk? Someone got tired of all the hangings. He's on the run now. Why does the town have against you? the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there? That was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethus. Got an army with him. Suddenly... Aethus isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethus. He enlisted, then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. Typical. After the war, people took to punishing Aethus worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Well, they did, though. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. You can see why I was eager to leave. You're next to me hang, what are you doing here? Let's go. Where are you headed? Some place called Kanua. I remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. Shut up. Oh, crap. All right, then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. <laughs> as long as you're not the one picking the sights. But I am. I am the one picking the sights. All right, we got freaking Aloth is ready to upgrade. Get involved, Aloth. Come on. I don't care, man. Cobweb. And fetid. Alright. A lost got cobweb. And now we're ready to go. Should we go down here and do the Aethas thing? Aethas? Aethos? Let's talk to Feel Fey Lion. Oh my gosh. But I clicked reach out. Oh, there's so much. Poised to attack. Whatever. <laughs> if I remember correctly, this takes this place takes forever. Must be five, six years. 
Used to be real nice. Bright. Warm. What's up, Wharton? A man lies resting against the wall. Can you hear me? Is my mic working? What the heck? Anyway, one arm is held lo lo loosely. Have a care if you mean to go in. This place is not so empty. Paying your respects. A little risky, isn't it? I don't know what happened. Safer down here than up there, even with the rats as big as they are. And yeah, that's watcher paragraphs. I don't need to read them. This temple isn't what it used to be. Probably for the best. Times in our... Looter. I'm not a looter. What happened to you? Trying to avoid the spiders. Ran into a scalder. Might be a little better if the thing had knocked down my good blade, too. But I'm not. Alright. It's not a bad wound. Sounds painful. I think I'll head up back. Uh, I could get your sword for you. That's kind of it, but there's no need. It wasn't doing any me good. You're welcome to it. With the arm like this, I could use your help. Scattered God. Grand Temple at that. His worshippers could come from all over dry wood. From red, red sirs even. Not so much anymore. Until the war, of course, even then you'd get the stubborn ones. Get to the point. Heap of rock. Heretics or not, their deaths didn't stop the legacy. Didn't do much of anything at all. They didn't deserve to go like that. Chopped down in their god's house. If you can get down there, find the remains. Maybe we can give them a proper burial. No small tisk. No small tisk. Alright. By the flame. I owe you a good turn. The temple's been sealed off for so long, crawling creatures, they'd still be ever disturbed. Pretty bird, I wouldn't want to send so out near murder. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. He just lied to me. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's freaking clouds. What a liar. <laughs> Who's just, just standing here? Aloth, do something. There's a ghost over here I have to talk to. He's gone! I clicked this. Parchment is worn and tattered. Pick up this crap. Is Aloth gonna do anything anymore? Ah, oh, crap. Stuff. Ah, uh, it's time for spider murder. I don't know what Aloth's problem is. He just leveled up. He should be fine. Aloth's got freaking bad credit scores. He's gonna have to apply for a small loan. Something about inconvenience. Here we go. I don't know what the heck that was. What the heck was that? I don't even know where it is. There. Oh, Venom. Whoever sat here was in a hurry. Ink has dripped all over the scroll. Paper. Mother, I have asked Brother Edric 
to carry this letter to you if ever he travels to new home or home come morning with him goes what coin I have I hope to see it blah 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 the letter trails off I don't think that letter letter ever got there scorch marks <laughs> power word mortgage <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Power word mortgage. I can't carry any more camping supplies. Oh, I just picked up a scroll. What did it say? Initiates note, this parchment is relatively intact. Isitors on the Ritual 4 Retrix Bracader Dimption for these Argot. I can't read that. I can't read that at all. Reading that is a joke. Something only in professionals might be able to do. Kind of stuck over here. Shut up. Well, I'm almost dead. And that didn't help very much at all. Typical. Red brown smears. Now that's what I'm talking about. What's up here? I can't remember. <clears throat> oh yeah. Crap. Metallic crap. As you look on, the air shimmers with a summer heat. Very dust of the air seems to pull you together until a thin glowing mist appears before you in its rippling green gleam. You sometimes think you can see a shape of a man. Who are you? Your voice sparks movement and the spirit surges with a sudden light. In the next moment you are somewhere else. You are in the chapter hall. Someone has snuffed the candles. Her strength will see you all through these dark times. The spirit tells itself from you with the sudden dizzying voice. Spirit fades. Well, that was interesting. Face of a statue. You're in the chapel. Chapel. Ah, crap. Whelps. <laughs> You're in the Dave Chappelle show. Ah, oh, crap, I'm battles. dead. Oh, wait, that's Aloth. I don't care about that. Book. Wow, it's like a real book. Gosh dang it, there's no end to these things. Aloth sucks. I don't know if you know this, but Aloth sucks. Hey, at least I'm not an elf. A big sword, huh? Is there anyone in the party that... Do you use swords? Yeah. Would this blue sword work better for you? 15 to 22? No. Oh, I know. He's a weakling. All these words and none of them will be read. Prayer skulls. <laughs> hey, we got it. Just a rapier. More books. The Great Western Stag. Only a stag would go this far west.
objects hate him. Just explode these things, that's all I do. Vermin have scoured these plates. They sure have. Wait. No. Oh my goodness. Eloth, no. I think we might die here. Considering my guy hadn't been attacking for a while. That helped a lot. Ah, oh, crap. Alos got swollen eye. <laughs> Are we just running around with an elf that has pink eye? What's going on? Powerful odor. Yeah, bright like your you the <laughs> buried secrets inside the temple. An old man called Wharton searched the ruins. Wharton's mentioned that the temple's full of secret compartments. Now, likely, whatever. I can't remember. Wonderful. We've been trapped. Hey, but we got a ring because of it. It keeps going in my stash. What does this do? Lots of things. Triggered. <laughs> yes. Um, three bells hanging from the wall. Years of dust and grime examine them. They appear to be fully intact. They are made of thick iron and heavy and don't appear about them. Left bell. Middle bell. Smaller bell. Right bell. A sudden a distant toll your piercing cover your ears. Ah oh, crap. I forgot. We have to read something. That tells us how to do this. I'm pretty sure. Initiate's note. Struck the largest bell first rather than the second. Um. He forgot and struck the largest bell first rather than second. Okay. Largest bell first, rather than second. Okay, so we left. Middle, right, middle. Dang it, I can't remember how to figure this out. We're all dying. Wasn't there a note somewhere on the ground that had more information than that? Am I missing something? I'm missing something. Wait, in here. No, that's the uh, camping supplies. Is there anything else anywhere? Should I have been paying attention to when people talk to me? Um, I can't remember. Help me. 
Somebody help me. I think it says something if I try to open the door, right? No? Ugh. Thirteen copper pieces for that note. Parchment really to view visitors on to the ritual floor. Redemption for even these. Forgot and struck the largest bell first rather than second. Yeah, second. We hit the big one second. Right, middle, left, middle. I cannot remember. Clarence is meth. Derek, give me the info. How do I figure it out? I... T I know there's somewhere that tells you. Am I deaf? Is that the problem? I must be deaf. To his grace, I write to implore the rest of the letters crossed out. I need more letters! Give me them! This ain't good. Did this thing have something on it? In this time of hardship, no. This ain't good. This ain't good at all. I've gotten down there before, I just cannot remember for the life of me how I did it. Is it zoomed in? Gosh dang it. I don't need this anymore. I wish it would stop putting stuff in the stash. I want to see it in my inventory first. Book of Verses. A Deer Empire. Living Sands. I don't know. Gears of dust, examine them. 
right bell. Warbling peal grows to painful shrillness before diminishes. Silence the bell. Middle bell. Silence the bell. Middle bell. Middle bell. Middle bell. Middle bell. Oh no. Right, middle, right, left. Right, middle, left, right. Oh, we did it. We just guessed. We got it. All right. Well, a deal's a deal, I suppose. You know, it's strange looking back. All the time I spent. You know, ah, now we gotta fight back. ghosts. All the time I spent here growing up. Never seeing what was coming. Kill this ghost. Alright, we're gonna camp right here and refill our health. Um. Yeah. Oh. Another dream. That dream sucked. Eight hours have passed. More ghosts. The ghosts want me dead. Burn the ghost with the A law. Perfect. We use the A loth to burn the ghost. Ow. The chest used the chest to burn my chest. <laughs> Minor Cloak of Protection. We'll give that to Aloth. He's weak. Oh, a sword. A, a two-handed sword. More ghosts. I These are... Aloth sucks. He's dying. He's using his death. We gotta take better care of Aloth. Death maneuvers. Oh, jeez. Aloth wasn't even in the fight and he died. Not good. It's ghost murder. We did it. Stop shooting me! Yeah, we're getting ready to end it. I mean, we can just end it now, I guess. We finish this. Hold on, there's a phantom about. We gotta take better care of Ella. 
We just... I was in my inventory and then a phantom appeared. What do you want? I can't do anything about Aloth in my inventory. He's not that good. He's just old. I can't get to this phantom because he's in the freaking middle of the door. Some help here. Well, he's dead. We got him. Okay, that killed How me. May I help? Somebody else open it. Would you freaking. What is wrong with you people? Open it. 15 coins. <laughs> this place sucks. Alright. We'll go ahead and end it here, I think. And hopefully... We'll play again next week or something. Maybe. Don't want to get attacked by Brendan Fraser's The Mummy. Hopefully. Alright, that's enough.